In 2002, the World Health Organization identified the prevention and control of foodborne diseases as a global priority. On Tuesday, the Ministry of Health launched a study that will determine the true burden and economic impact of foodborne illness on St. Lucia. Information from the Burden of Illness study will be used to explore risk factors for infection, identify gaps in surveillance, and guide prevention and control measures. National Laboratory Director at Victoria Hospital, Dr. Owen Gabriel, says the project will be conducted in two phases, starting with a population study. Information collected from that study will form part of a prevalence database. We will assess the prevalence of these diseases where people who may have these diseases may not go to a doctor or people who have these diseases may go to a doctor and not receive um, antibiotics or not receive the, the adequate testing for the tools if a sample was submitted or not. So, and, and we will look at, at the end of the day, the impact of this on our society, on our economy as to how much resources are used to, to manage these people, how much um, time is lost from work, um, exactly how this impacts on us in, in, in our overall system. Program manager for foodborne illnesses at the Caribbean Epidemiology Center, Dr. Lisa Indar, says the study is the culmination of two years of work on St. Lucia. Dr. Indar says the study is vital as foodborne illnesses become more common. We do not know what are the predominant causes of foodborne illnesses in the Caribbean, including St. Lucia. In fact, the epidemiology of foodborne illnesses is very poorly understood. We just know that foodborne illnesses is given as an estimate of gastroenteritis, or if there's an outbreak, we will say, well, it's related to foodborne illnesses. We are not sure. What the foodborne illness study, what, what the burden of illness study will do, it will help us determine of those gastroenteritis cases we have, what percentage of it is foodborne diseases? And if it, is, if it is foodborne disease, what type of foodborne, what is the causes of the foodborne illnesses? The study will begin on April 26. Random sampling will be conducted at 680 households. Dr. Gabriel says the questionnaires will be thorough to obtain a better understanding of foodborne illnesses, their causes and control strategies. It will look at your recent um, consumption patterns. It will look at your exposure to water, um, whether it's river water or in the pools or in the ocean and so on. And um, it will look at, uh, try to associate these factors with the onset of your, your symptoms and so on. Phase two of the study is a laboratory survey that will examine lab procedures and the capacity of the island's lab technicians. Health officials say foodborne illnesses are not well understood on St. Lucia, as people affected by them are not captured by national health surveillance systems. Dr. Gabriel says this study will ensure that more adequate prevention and control measures are instituted. Alison Kentish, HDS News, Channel 4.